what an episode. What a fucking episode. An absolutely amazing, devastating, beautiful, excellently written and directed and acted episode. An absolutely 10 out of 10. That was exactly what it was. That is the exact description of Succession Season 4, Episode 3. It's just a perfect masterclass of writing. An absolute perfection. I mean, who would have thought that Logan Roy, uh, spoilers everyone, who would have thought that Logan Roy would uh, die? Yeah, that they would kill him, just like that. Off screen, to be honest, off screen, I just, you know, what can I say? I, I just finished watching it and uh, I am speechless. To be honest, guys, I'm just speechless. It took me like 10 minutes uh, to sit down and record this while I have it uh, fresh on my mind. Yeah, they killed him off screen. Uh, from a writer's perspective, that is a brilliant decision because it makes the other characters react to the news of their father's death. And uh, we, the viewers, it just hits us as a sledgehammer. You can't really believe it. I, I didn't, to be honest, I didn't really believe it to be true, uh, that Logan Roy died. I didn't. I just thought that uh, it was an elaborate prank. Because think of how the episode started. It started uh, with uh, Tom making fun of uh, Greg, you know, with uh, Greg's jokes, you know. And then Roman talking to his uh, father, to Logan, on the phone with, you know, curse words and uh, foul language. And, you know, Roman being Roman. You just have this idea, you just have this instinct that you're just gonna watch another standard succession episode where you don't know if the next scene is gonna be funny or dramatic or just uh, devastating. Although the devastating episodes are usually reserved for later in the season, but that doesn't happen in season four. The previous episode was very good, but yeah, I didn't believe it that Logan Roy was dead. And uh, as the sequence progressed of where we see this idea of this giant of a man, Logan Roy, died. And we can't really believe it. I didn't really believe it. And it slowly unfolds. It dawns on us that uh, he's dead. And we see all of this through the reactions of uh, his children. Uh, it took me a while. I think to realize the significance. I think I forgot to breathe, to be honest. I think I you know, didn't breathe for like, I don't know, half a minute or something, jokingly. But when Kendall went and uh, found his sister, Siobhan, yeah, her reaction, her facial muscles, the absolute control of that, and she did it as she was walking back to the scene. It was amazing, excellently done. But the real uh, surprise for me was how Connor reacted, you know, because Connor is like the comedic uh, character. He's the clown of the family, the, the bold child. He's like in his 50s, but he's still a, a child. And uh, because he has so much experience in grief, in despair, in uh, depression, uh, he has so much experience with everyone seeing him as a joke. He's the only one that acted responsibly. He didn't stammer, he didn't lose it. He didn't uh, start wailing or, uh, you know, crying. He just asked, you know, is my father dead? And uh, no one really knew to give him a straight answer. And uh, that really surprised me. I thought that he was just gonna go into pieces, but he didn't. And that's just uh, one of the amazing things that the succession writers have done with uh, Connor, especially this season, after the previous uh, scene in the bar in episode three where just Connor has this amazing monologue about love and loneliness and depression. And it's not really a monologue, it's not long, but you know, you know what I mean. And you know that after Connor has learned the news, it's just a matter of time until all the other children, Kendall, Roman and Shoban, started acting again, like Royce, you know, started acting again like rich assholes. Basically, it felt like they were watching you know, like predator preys, you know, like crows circling around a dead body, ready to go into you know, a feast, ready to eat the carcass of their father. Because that's how it felt, you know. It was this uh, weird, where they're trying to rationalize what his death means. 
Of course, you can't expect that to happen, but still, it did felt quite devastating. Although, to be completely fair, I think Roman had a very human reaction alongside with Connor. Maybe it took him a while until he let it go of his, you know, stammerings, of his mannerism, of his foul language. Especially a little bit later when he's alone in the cabin with uh, Jerry. And we see that he's just a little boy that wants a hug. And, uh, you know, he says, I'm sad, you know, I'm really fucking sad. But Jerry is just, you know, she ignores him and steps out. And we see how alone he is in the world. Especially now that his father is gone. And we have seen from uh, the start of the episode and from the previous episode... And in general, the show that Roman as a character really wants his father's approval. Maybe a little bit more uh, than Kendall, maybe. Anyway, that is it for this short video that I wanted to make, as the memory of the episode is still fresh in my mind. See you around.